Theme Parks. I'm in L.A. Studio guitarist. A little bit of live playing. Here to talk about the Vertex Boost pedal. Uh, when I came into L.A., I had a an Edwards light pedal, which was a pedal steel pedal. And I don't think guitar players were really using that. There were fewer pedals back then, 1970. But I used it to place myself in the rhythm section and also to make it so that I could pedal back, play hard. You could hear I'm playing hard, but it's not distorted. And when I need to lean into something or bring a portion out, I can do it with the volume pedal and pushes the amp a little harder. So that's something I've always done and it's kind of my comfort zone. I've had a volume pedal in my rig the whole time. It's not for an effect, it's for um, to expand my whim, basically. I can emulate a limiter at the end of a long hold by, say if this is the volume pedal, I can pick back here and then as it decays, you lean into it and the decay is longer. Meanwhile, you didn't have a compressor to squash the front. The boost pedal is handy. You just set the boost for a certain amount and set your amp at the threshold of distortion. And then with the boost, you set it however much distortion you want to be able to pedal in. And you can do that thing in a more drastic way. Take the pedal back here. When you want that sound, you do that. Here's a couple of examples. I'll start with the boost off so you can see what no boost is, and then I'll turn the boost on, let you hear that, and then I'll use it with the boost on. And with the boost on, I'll still vary it with the volume pedal so that I can take it back to what it was without the boost on and pedal into it to give uh, that bigger sound. So uh, what we're using today, I have a 513 PRS, and we're plugging into this Dr. Z Carmen Ghia and uh, this Vox AC30 reissue. I've got the boost as the input into those two amps. And for effects, I'm running effects virtual through the uh, Logic Audio. I'm using an Echo Boy uh, plug-in and an Ernie Ball volume pedal. We're not using it for the volume circuit, we're using it as an expression pedal for the boost. Uh, here's another example of the same thing. I'll turn the boost on and then I'll play a little something where I use the pedal to uh, bring the boost effect on particular notes that I want a, a little different sound. One thing that I really like about the, the boost pedal is the evenness uh, from way down at the bottom to way up at the top. You still get a full, it's the same sound. So it, uh, that's always a problem with pedals that have a pot. You get a different sound down here than you get up here. It's, uh, it's just not as healthy sounding. This is 
just a great hi-fi sound all the way up and all the way down. Just the buffer that's in it, you know, I've, there are pedals you plug into when they're not on and the buffer is harsh or the highs come out or something changes about the sound of it. This doesn't do that. It's, a, it's the sound that you want. Uh, it's not a sound you hadn't accounted for. <laughs> 